Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this. So this is, let's do an extreme close-up. It's a rather lovely, very energetic DL card featuring a mermaid's tail, dream higher than the sky and deeper than the ocean with a lot of splashing. So it's a rather lovely little card and using a slightly different technique. So enough talk from me. Come with me and let me show you how it's done. OK, so let's start with some embossing powder. Wow, embossing powder. And I've got a sheet of baking paper, which I'm folding in half. And I've got some Wow embossing powder mermaid tails. It's going to be a mix and I'm just sprinkling some onto my baking sheet and some vintage peacock embossing powder. This is all wow embossing powders. A little splash of opaque bright white regular. And look, I'm getting my pencil and just doing simple swirls in it to mix those colours up a bit. Now I want the white as close as I can to the top if possible, but you know what, once I do what I have to do, not sure it'll even be at the top. There we go, that's some black glint. And again, I'm just pushing it in a little bit. Bearing in mind, what I'm looking for is movement. So now I've got my Ranger, no, yes, my Ranger heat tool. And i am just folded that baking paper over and I'm melting it. I can't really show you anything other than this, apart from the fact I'm melting it. Now I've used my palette knife to just swish it down, squish being a technical term, and waiting for it to cool down a bit, and then peeling it apart. And what we're left with is a lace-like acrylic shape, which will do just fine for looking like the sea for me. So I'm going to get my DL Multifarious card, and what stamp am I using here? The Zelith stamp. Not the Zenith, the Zelith stamp. And Versafine Claire Nocturne, which I will now ink up said stamp. I don't want the whole stamp. I just want the tail. So that's what I'm going for. Inking it up. Turn it over. And getting it so that that tail is about just over halfway up that DL card. Pushing it down and letting the ink do its work as I wait. Perfect. Colouring. So what are we going to do with it now? So I've got my Elements inks and a size 9 stencil brush. And I'm just building up that colour. So I've started with Blue Lagoon, Blue Lagoon, <laughs> Blue Lagoon. I start in the corners and that way, you know, if I muck up and load my brush with too much, it doesn't really matter because corners can get away with looking darker. So I've now got some Blue Atoll on my brush and I'm starting off where the Blue Lagoon is, the ink that I've already applied, and I'm just putting the lightest of ink around that tail to basically give this feeling of movement. Sometimes the parts that aren't coloured are just as important as the parts that are. So I'm not worrying about blotches, I'm not worrying about, you know, perfect coverage. There we go, this is dark denim going into the corners because we're going to frame it with the darker colour. And I love this feeling. It's, it's quite moody and sort of, yeah, it's not dark, but it's moody. Yes. Embossing. Hurrah. So crack open those um, embossing powders. We'll be going back in. This, my lovelies, though, is Versafine Claire Warm Breeze. And once you're happy with it, I've stamped off, stamped off the majority of the ink just to go back in with, if you like, a little shadow of 
spray. That's what I want. The spray of the water. The flick of the tail. And that was the red berry wreath. And I've just gone over it with a magic anti-static pad. I'm inking up my text with Versamark. And I'm getting it the right way around. Helpful. Um, and I have got... Deeper than the ocean stamp. Okay. And I've just stamped it right at the top on that darker bit because I'm going to be using metallic silver sparkle, that wow embossing powder. And it will stand up beautifully on that darker area. And if you think you've missed a bit, just go back over it. So I'm heating that up, tidying it up with a pencil, heating that up with my Ranger heat tool. And look at that. Happy days. But if you want more of an echo, then if you ink it up with... I think that is Versifying Claire Medieval Blue. And I'm just popping little bits of text on either side. but not so it's overpowering it. Fabulous. Sticking the C. Hmm. So I know for this, this is for the lace-like um, embossing powder that we melted. And I'm just going to use some glossy accents to stick that to the card. And what I, I, you know, I love, I love the way the colours have melted together, but I also love the way it's organically formed these holes, which let us see a bit of the picture underneath. And it's unlike anything we could achieve with a stencil, because it's so tactile, you know. And if you're, if you, if it overhangs, just chop it off, the excess that is. There we go. And any extra bits, if you fancy picking those up and sticking them anywhere else on the card, go ahead. Have fun after all. That's what this is all about. Having fun. That was a full on shot of my arm for which I'm very sorry. Right, finishing touches. Now for this, I'm using a stencil brush, size 3, and this is dark denim, and I'm going to start going, elements ink rather, dark denim, and I'm going to start just going around the outside at the base to give us that contrast to the top. You know, that finishes off the box, if you like. And I'm just adding some apple green Posca to the tail, not all over it, just little bits like accents on the tail. And then we've got aqua green doing the same thing. And don't forget, if you've got any of the tail coming through a hole in that embossing powder, pay attention to that too. And you can also stain the edges with the, bos the Posca pen by smudging it with your finger. Just run where you want it to go, and while it's still wet, smudge. Here we go, a couple of splashes coming up, dots for spray. Get that movement going, after all it's water. A little bit pink on that fish, the mermaid's tail rather, that fish tail. Uh, and that was light pink Posca. Which one's this one? White. Fabulous. Lots of dots. A little bit of yellow. It's my Posca pen. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of smudgery as well. Yes, there we go. So that's the aqua green. 
back in with the yellow. Just work it until you're happy because don't forget the main focus for this is the, it's going to be the stamped um, tail but it's it's being grounded in that water. And the, what we're trying to do is create as much motion, as much energy in there as possible. So that's the darker blue, Posca pen. And this is glitter glue pen, quickie glue pen. I'll tell me what it is in a minute. It's glitter. That's what we're doing now. And there's the magic anti-static pad. Quickie glue pen. I was so close. And I'm just going around that red berry stamp. And you know the dots on the end, the berries. I'm just going and adding some glitter around those areas, following lines that are already there for us, to add some of that magical sparkle. Now, the question is, what colours are you using, Emma Jo? Dotting it up that side of the mermaid's tail. And we've got, that was vintage shimmer, eco glitter vintage shimmer. And this is Turkish Delight. And you just keep going with that glitter until you're happy that there's enough bling and enough shine for you to be happy with it. Fabulous. I love the way a little bit of glitter can just take it to another dimension. So if you use the um, dark denim and put some water in the lid and just add any accents you want to with your paintbrush. If you feel some bits don't look quite dark enough, get out that small stencil brush. Or your white Posca pen. The darker you get the sides, the more Posca you can put on it, white Posca you know, to give your spray somewhere to go. Because white Posca shows up best on something darker, doesn't it? Working with what you've got. Fabulous. Use your stamp as a guide. Fab. And the more dots we add and the more splashes we get, it's finished. You have done it. Well done. So I love experimenting, I don't know about you, and just being able to add a completely different texture can sometimes make us look at things a little bit differently or focus on what's important in the design. It's like embossing works the same with words. Glitter works the same with, you know, something you want to make look more fairyish or more magical or whatever it is you're trying to do. So, my friends, thank you very much for coming along and having a go with me. I hope you've enjoyed making this card like I have. Um, if you've got any comments you'd like to make about this craft, please pop them in the post below and I will do my very best to get back in touch with you as soon as I possibly can. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!